24-7 Fusion Media. I am what I am what I am. Oh, where's me spinach? Wow. I never thought that I would be reading the title of an article that I'm reading here right now. Popeye the Sailor Man live action film in development from Shernan King Features. Exclusive coming from Variety. And we see that Popeye's back in the limelight. Very interesting. Because last time we checked on Popeye, <laughs> he wasn't doing too good. And we'll get to that here momentarily. Popeye's coasting back to the big screen. The iconic Sailor Man and Spinach Chugger, who first appeared in comic strips in the late 1920s, will be the subject of a new live action feature film from Shernan Entertainment and King Features. Hmm, Shernan Entertainment. If I'm not mistaken, I think I saw somewhere this had to be, I don't know, like maybe in the last few weeks, that they've signed a deal with Netflix. So, I'm not sure what they're gonna be working on, but I wonder if Popeye might be heading to Netflix. Who knows, right? The project is currently in development as a big budget feature and has attached screenwriter Michael Caleo, Sexy Beast, The Family, The Sopranos, okay. This is the first live action revisiting of the characters since the 1980 film Popeye led by Robin Williams directed by Robert Altman and co-starring Shelley Duvall as the sailor's quirky love interest Olive Oil, which was a very damn good movie. The film has panned upon release but has since gained cult status and critical reconsideration. It was also profitable released by Paramount and Disney at a $20 million budget before grossing roughly $60 million worldwide. And I'll even throw this into the hat while we're at it. And I will state this right here, right now. Popeye, starring Robin Williams and Shelley Duvall, has to be the most faithful comic book, comic strip adaptation to a movie. It has to be the most faithful adaptation that I've ever seen of any property being turned into anything live action, whether it's TV show or movies. So if anybody that's watching this has never watched the 1980 classic Popeye movie starring Robin Williams, please do yourself some justice and go watch the movie. It's very cool and very, very faithful to who Popeye truly is and every character that's in it. So, that's me uh, <laughs> getting off of the Popeye soapbox. Popeye celebrated the 95th anniversary this year after appearing in the 1929 comic Thimble Theater. The character spawned both animated features and series in his heyday and could be one of the earliest templates for mass merchandising across multiple generations. Two years ago, Popeye was named the key inspiration for menswear collection from Moschino, Supreme, and A. Bathing Ape. Popeye's still the face of McCall Farm Spinach. In the cartoons, the vegetable offers the sailor superpowers to defeat his enemies, which carries the Popeye logo and face on canned goods. And I would have to say about a year ago, year and a half ago, King Features decided to go and make Popeye gender fluid. Yeah, you heard me right. If uh, if you follow the channel, then you remember me dropping the video. This was a thumbnail to my video. You would see that, yeah, they turned Popeye gender fluid. Ooh, I've never been so disgusted in all my life. Last year. So it's funny that now this is his 95th anniversary and King Feature is trying to put out a uh, major motion picture featuring Popeye and it makes me wonder are we gonna get traditional Popeye or are we gonna get gender fluid Popeye because I don't even know what the fuck that even looks like this is embarrassing so so just in case you guys haven't heard of this I'll leave a link 
uh, in the description to my Popeyes Now Gender Fluid video, and you guys can check it out over in this in the description section down below. Ooh, I've never been so disgusted in all my life. Some devout fans, which Popeye still has, crafted a series of self-made movie trailers this year, all fictional, which have racked up millions of views combined. These trailers imagine the character as a castaway warrior with Dwayne Johnson proportions, which may well be the direction this is headed creatively. Producers are in the process of attaching a studio partner. Okay, well, like I said, uh, Shernan, they have a deal with Netflix to, of course, you know, produce some things. So, will Popeye be one of those uh, movies being produced? And I'm going to be completely honest. If this thing is not trying to be on the level of being something better than what Robin Williams gave us back in 1980, then King Feature and Shernan have no business trying to make a live action Popeye movie. If I'm not mistaken, it had to be maybe, hmm, I would have to say maybe five years, maybe closer to a decade ago. They were working on a Popeye animated movie, which actually looked pretty damn good. And I've seen a small piece of it, which actually leaked. And I, for the for the life of me, I never could figure out why they never released that Popeye movie. I think that Popeye movie would have made them so much fucking money. But they passed on it. It was already made because, I, I, like I said, I've seen a little bit of some kind of leaked footage from it years ago. And I thought, wow, this had to be some real cool shit. Because, of course, you know, I love Popeye. So I thought it was awesome to see that and they never released it. So now they're coming up with this on the heels of what they did last year. I, uh, I have some questions about this, but we're gonna have to see how far along this goes. It's in development. So they're gonna have to attach a studio to this. And then from there, we'll be able to figure out what they're actually doing with Popeye. But, uh, the only thing I can say is I hope they do him justice and I hope they don't fuck over his character. But uh, like I say, that's, you know, that's how I feel about this. Uh, you guys, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Are you interested in seeing a new live action Popeye in 2024 or 2025 or whenever this is coming out? Do you think... Uh, they're going to come into this having the right idea of what Popeye's about? Or do you think we're going we're gonna to get that gender fluid shit that they were trying to push last year? Like I say, uh, you guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. And as always, well, blow me down. I'm strong to the finish because I eat me spinach, says Popeye to say, oh, man. Woo.